the 2015 McLaren 650 SGT3. The brand new McLaren 650S was introduced at the 2014 Geneva Motor Show as a replacement for the MP412C. The sports car debuted in coupe and roadster body styles with 640 horsepower and 500 pound feet of torque on tap. Powered by the same twin-turbo, 3.8-liter V8 seen across the entire McLaren lineup, the 650S comes to the market as a competitor for the Ferrari 458 and the Lamborghini Huracan. Coming into 2015, the British sports car is also getting a track suit with a 650S GT3 label on it. Developed as a successor to the highly acclaimed 12C GT3, the 650S will replace its forerunner in the Blanc Plain Endurance Series starting next year. Additionally, the new race car will get to showcase its skills in various GT races around the world hoping to match the success of its predecessor. Although it is essentially an updated 12C GT3, the 650S GT3 carries an array of newly developed racing parts, which are supposed to make it faster and more agile on the track. Only time will tell if the 650S is worthy of the GT3 moniker, but, until then, let's have a look at the technology behind it. Updated July 27, 2015, the McLaren 650 S GT3 finished honorably in its most demanding test to date this weekend, two entered entered the total 24 hours of spa and both claimed top 10 finishes. McLaren dropped a very nice picture gallery from the race, so enjoy. Click past the jump to read more about the 2015 McLaren 650 S GT3. Exterior Just as the road legal McLaren 650S is a successor to the MP412C, which was discontinued earlier this year, the 650S GT3 is an evolution of the 12C GT3. Built with motorsport in mind, the 650S GT3 is a more radical version of the standard 650S, with tons of race-specific gear added inside and out. The revised front hood provides additional cooling to the car's internals, while the wider front fenders further enhance the GT3 menacing stance. Up front, the GT3 is distinguished by a large carbon fiber splitter and enhanced air intakes on each side of the nose. The revised front hood provides additional cooling to the car's internals, while the wider front fenders further enhance the GT3 menacing stance. Moving toward the rear, reshaped side air intakes are in place to send even more air into the engine, while the redesigned side sills make sure the racer remains planted at high speeds. Around back, a huge, fixed carbon fiber wing provides the necessary downforce and optimum airflow over and around the GT3. The 650S traditional rear bumper has been replaced by a track spec diffuser that hangs closer to the ground. The aerodynamic piece is quite aggressive by design and represents a major improvement compared to the 12C GT3. Naturally, the 650S GT3's body is made entirely of carbon fiber, with panel design and fit optimized to minimize pit lane repair times. The body is lighter than ever before and sits on a 2-inch wider track. Interior Driver safety is one of the key areas McLaren focused while developing the 650 S GT3. Protection offered by the revised carbon fiber monocell chassis is enhanced with the addition of a brand new, FIA-approved roll cage that's lighter than that of the 12C GT3. The new roll cage provides increased leg and headroom, which will translate into a greater degree of driver comfort during those long endurance events. The dash sits behind the vehicle's unique steering wheel, which borrows the design seen in McLaren's Formula One car. Speaking of comfort, drivers will also benefit from an all-new race seat developed by the company's GT division. Fitted with a six-point race harness as standard, the seat offers increased levels of support by means of bespoke molded inserts. The seat is built to FIA standards and mounted to the chassis. Assisting the drivers throughout the races is a digital dash displaying all sorts of vital parameters, including speed and fuel consumption. The dash sits behind the vehicle's unique steering wheel, which borrows the design seen in McLaren's Formula One car. An all-new, adjustable, motorsport pedal box and a membrane-type switch panel round off the track-ready cockpit. Drivetrain 
The 650 SGT3 is motivated by McLaren's familiar twin-turbo, 3.8-liter, V8 engine. The unit carries the same configuration as in the 12C GT3, meaning it benefits from the same 493 horsepower rating controlled by FIA regulations. However, the 650S features an all-new, 6-speed sequential transmission with improved shifting and an oil cooler incorporated into the large side intakes. Engine cooling is improved thanks to the larger intakes cut into the front bumper. All told, expect the 650 S GT3 to be slightly faster than the already successful 12 C GT3. 2015 McLaren 650 S GT3 Drivetrain Specification Suspension Helping the 650 S GT3 on the racetrack is an all-new, racetune suspension system, a 2-inch wider track, and new generation, larger racing tires. Aided by the revised aerodynamic package, the combo provides increased levels of grip and steering feel on turn-in. The new tires wrap around brand new, forged aluminum wheels measuring 18 inches at all corners. Stopping power is provided by a revised braking system consisting of ventilated discs and monoblock calipers. Up front, the 380x35M 15x1.4-inch discs mate to six piston calipers, while the rear 355x32M 14x1.3-inch discs are paired to four piston calipers. Prices only 15 examples of the 650 SGT3 will be built and sold for £330,000 each before taxes, which means around $562,000 as of June 27, 2014. Deliveries will commence in late 2014, just in time for customers to start testing before the 2015 motorsport season commences. Additionally, privateers that already own the 12C GT3 will be able to opt for an upgrade package that basically transforms this year's race car into a 650 S GT3. About 15 such packages will be sold, but McLaren has yet to announce pricing information. Competition Audi R8 LMS Ultra the Audi R8 LMS Ultra is McLaren's main rival for the 2015 Blancpain Endurance Series. The German race car is based on the production, road-legal Audi R8 and features a bevy of racing upgrades to make it viable for endurance events. Setting it apart from the road-going R8 is a revised hood, a front bumper spoiler, new side sills, a larger rear wing and a race-specific rear diffuser. A track-ready suspension system and more efficient brakes are also part of the package. Behind the seats lies Audi's familiar 5.2-liter, V10 engine, with certain updates added to increase its potential. Output sits at 562 horsepower, 12 ponies more than the road-legal R8 V10+. Power is routed to the rear wheels by a six-speed sequential gearbox operated by paddle shifters mounted behind the steering wheel. Bentley Continental GT3 Based on the production Bentley Continental GT, the GT3 is a fresh entry into the Blancpain Endurance Series. Introduced for the 2014 season, the British machine laps the tracks by means of 4.0-liter, V8 engine that generates 600 twin-turbocharged horses. Sending power to the ground is a six-speed sequential transaxle gearbox using a racing clutch and a limited slip differential. Stripped of all the luxury features found in the regular Continental GT and fitted with several carbon fiber parts inside and out, the GT3 tips the scale at only 2,866 pounds. Conclusion the 650 S GT3 comes to replace a very successful 12 C GT3. As of June 2014, the latter has three championship titles and 51 race wins to its name, making it the winningest McLaren of the modern era. Improving on such success won't be an easy task, but the 650 S comes with many chassis and aerodynamic improvements that are bound to make it faster and more agile. We know race cars are developed to be quick rather than beautiful, but the 650 S GT3 is one of those track rockets that manages to be both. Love it new aerodynamic package upgraded gearbox improved chassis components new interior bits and tech. Leave it no additional horsepower we won't see it in action until 2015 updated history. 
Updated 6 October 2014, McLaren announced that its new 650 SGT3 is about to face toughest test yet with 12-hour desert endurance test set to take place the Yas Marina circuit in Abu Dhabi, the 12th to the 13th of December. After this final race, the 650 SGT3 will join customer teams from next season. If you liked this video, please share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.